of First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Oh, it's windy everywhere. I won't stay on this camera angle very long here in Gunnersville, looking at the city harbor there as you might get motion sickness watching this. But wind advisory continues all the way through noon tomorrow. Wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. The strongest wind gust will happen as that front moves through during the morning hours tomorrow. So about a two hour period where we'll have to fight off some of those wind gusts up to 45. Sustained winds approaching 25 miles per hour. A satellite and radar most of which we're just seeing the clouds. A lot of this rain is overestimated by the radar because there's a dry layer of air in place that's absorbing some of the rain as it falls tonight. We'll stay in the 60s. The official high for tomorrow will go down in the books just after midnight, if not then around 7 o'clock in the morning. A few showers possible with the wind gusts to 40 miles per hour, but the brunt of the rain will come in after 7 o'clock. Here's what we're looking at for an afternoon high 49. If we're lucky, forecast guidance has us in the low 40s all afternoon. Wind chills will be in the 30s, so we're going right back to winter for at least one day and one morning. Rain and storm timeline. You can see it really picks up between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. and then it's pretty much gone by 1 p.m. So let's go through this hour by hour, 7 o'clock in the morning. Here comes a very narrow line of thunderstorms and that means a lot of wind. So 45, maybe 50 mile per hour winds along this line as it moves through. And look at the temperature difference. A 20 degree drop in temperatures in about 30 minutes time. And once the front moves through, say goodbye to the 60s and and hello to the 40s for the rest of the day. Here's 9 o'clock in the morning. That line quickly moving through Fayetteville, Harvest, Monrovia, Athens, Decatur, back towards Moulton, uh, Phil Campbell, then Coleman, Arab, the east side of Huntsville, Hampton Cove, Owens Crossroads around 10 o'clock in the morning, Scottsboro probably around 10 30, 11 o'clock, and then some light to moderate rain behind the front. Just a cold rain here with the northwest wind finally settling down, but still gusting to 25 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. So by 3 o'clock, this is what we're sitting with 41 in Huntsville, but it's going to feel more like 30 degrees out there, especially with the clouds. So just a very chilly afternoon overnight lows close to freezing, but I don't think it's going to be terribly cold uh, overnight, maybe down to 34 degrees as we take a look at your 10 day forecast. So we're going to go 49. That's a lot more realistic to tomorrow. What it's actually going to end up being back to 56 Thursday, but clouds come back. If we get any sunshine at all, it'll be limited Thursday down to 37. But Friday, we've got clouds and showers probably to start the day and to finish the day. Saturday doesn't look too bad around 64 degrees. Huntsville Havoc back in town. Sunday shower chances coming in late morning low in the 50s. So the warmer weather is going to come back and it'll stay with us. You notice over the next 10 days, we see more consistent mid to upper 60s, but it's just going to be cloudy with scattered showers. So some days I don't think will be total washouts, but this is just a wetter than normal weather pattern headed our way and it all kind of begins tomorrow with that narrow line of showers and storms. I'll have another look at this coming up at six o'clock.